We're live. What day is today? Uh, April. Where are we today? April 14th. Yes. We are going live here in Toronto, Canada. This is the Lust House. This is our girl, Lisa. Lisa's one of our customers. She uses our wavy all in one on her two. Two C hair? Yes. <laughs> two C hair. So. <laughs> Um, while we wait for people to join, quick intro, my name is Sahar, I'm the founder of Lust Brands, which stands for Love Yourself, and I created this hair care line that honestly is just meant to simplify curly hair care. So it consists of a step one and two, so Lisa here has actually pre-washed and conditioned and detangled her hair under this nice turban here. So she's used our steps one and two, shampoo conditioner, and we decided to go live so she can show you start to finish how she uses our all-in-one for wavy hair. because. I've gone live before, and as you can see, I've got um, 3B hair type. It's very curly. Coming close so you guys can see it. And I've gone live, so if you want to check out my live, head to our YouTube page, Less Brands. Look up the live. I've gone live a couple of times, but we noticed there's a lot of beauties in our community who have wavy hair. And the way I apply the product to my hair, it's not how Lisa applies it to her hair. So we hit her up. She joined us for a photo shoot here. What was it, last month? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we loved her. So we're like, hey, would you like to go live and do your hair from start to finish on our Facebook page? And she was gracious enough to agree to come in on a Sunday. And that's what we're going to do today. And for you guys who haven't seen her on our, on our website or our ads, this is what her hair looks like um, when she styles it using our all-in-one wavy formula. Is she beautiful? Look at that. <laughs> Now that is, um, so that's one application styling method and then we recently posted this on our Instagram page which is a repost from her page and you can see she gets these beautiful like defined waves and curls and she uses a different styling technique when she does this versus this one and that's kind of the whole point of today's live is depending on how you apply a product to your hair you're going to end up with different results. Now here's the funny thing, when we posted this one she got a lot of comments. <laughs> Right? Yes. People were accusing her of using a curling iron to get these uh, to get these curls, and we can assure you, there's no curling iron, no hot tools used to achieve this look. So today she's gonna go live, start to finish, and show you how she does her hair. I, for once, I'm not gonna be doing my hair today. <laughs> so I'm gonna be reading your comments. Um, this, if you're, if it's not Sunday, April 14th, when you're watching this, this is a recording. So make sure you write your comments. Our team is gonna be online answering your questions. So. If it appears like I'm ignoring you, I'm not. <laughs> so just be patient with us. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna read your comments. If you have questions for Lisa, fire them at me and I'll shoot them off to her. So Lisa, before we get started, maybe you can tell them a little bit about your hair journey, what you've been through, yeah. what got you to this point. Yeah, so um, I mean, growing up I had um, puffy hair. Like, <laughs> not, I'm not sure I would call it curly hair because it was just puffy, my, my whole family, they. My dad has curls, but my mom doesn't. And so growing up, my mom just like kind of cut my hair short because she was yeah, like, I don't, I, don't know, like, I don't know how to deal with this. So um, yeah, growing up, I had a, a girlfriend's sister, actually. She showed me gel. And so I used gel in high school and I had like the crisp was yellow. Was it yeah, like a jar? Like a dip and eat. Yeah. 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 Yes. Dig your hands in. Yes. And the nails. Oh. Like, yes. I <laughs> get your nails. So, yes. Anyways. Um, but yeah, I had like super crispy hair and I rocked that look for like years. For what look? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it, it, it was just, it was, it was kind of, and it was still like kind of fried. It was, it was terrible. But um, what made it worse was when I dyed it blonde. So I dyed it blonde a couple of years ago and it was like, um, like a haystack and it, I was the person who went in like if anybody's a hairdresser here you're probably like oh but I was the person who went in and was like get me as light as quick as possible I didn't do it like the way that you should where you should go into the stages and I just was like make me blonde and uh yeah I look like a like a haystack for for a long time so it's been a long time coming um a lot of deep conditioning and a lot of just like hair, no heat, like heat does not touch this hair. Um, and just a lot of love, um, good products, no silicones, uh, no sulfates. And that's kind of where I've been now. Yeah, so I'm kind of getting my curl back. So talk to me about, you know, you're on the cusp of wavy and curly. Yeah. We get that a lot because we have different formulas. My hair is very obviously curly. I normally use our curly formula. Today I stepped it up to the kinky coily, sometimes when I want more definition. For those of you who've seen my videos, usually my hair is a lot bigger, but um, when I need more definition and I want my curls to be a little bit tamer, I just step up to the kinky coily. But you are uh, 
definitely a type two, like wavy yeah. hair, and yeah. you've stuck to our wavy formula. Yes. Um, and talk to me about what that is to try to bring your curls out because I rake product in my hair, yeah. I'll comb it, I'll brush it, yeah. it will curl. Oh, but for you, you need to encourage that curl. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. So talk to me about that. Yeah. So when my hair was darker, it was a little bit more curly, but since going blonde, it has it has kind of softened. I do have like a soft curl, um, but. In terms of the wavy, when I first spoke to Les, when I was asking them about the the products, which one works better, they said, you know, if you want more volume, use the wavy, and mm -hmm. if you want uh, more definition, use the curly. And I'm on a pursuit to get my hair like as big as possible, so I went with the wavy, and I'm so happy I did because it's um it's really light, like yeah. the formula is super super light, and it's allowed me to get this this big kind of mane happening. So I'm. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Awesome. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm just quickly looking at all of your comments. You just sort of can't wait. So interested to see the results. Best products ever. Thank you. You guys, we love you. You guys always show us so much love <laughs> on these live events. So we're gonna go ahead. Her hair has probably started drying <laughs> under the um under her, her towel now. So she's gonna go ahead, re-wet it section by section. Before any of you ask why she's wrapped it in a towel and re-wetting it, it's because we're going live today, guys. She washed <laughs> her hair at home. And then she has to come into our offices here in Toronto, so she's had to wrap it up, and she's going to rewet it section by section. Now, normally you apply the products in the shower. Yeah. Said. Okay. And I don't. So again, uh, same product line, different application yeah. techniques, different things that work for her versus works for me. So you really do need to trial and error. Everyone's is different. You guys ready to get started? <laughs> All right. So I was expecting to hear something like. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so all right. I'll, I'll be I'll be your hype girl today. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's about, I don't know, I would say probably like 60% wet right now. So I'm gonna have to definitely go in with the, what is it called, the flip, flare salt? Uh, yeah, Infinity uh, Continuous Spray Bottle. Okay. So yeah. So, so normally, I'm gonna get out of your way, yeah. to that, so you're free to, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, but sure. I'm still here, guys. <laughs> okay. okay, well normally what I do, um, as Lamar mentioned, is I, I normally do it still in the shower. So um, my hair is like soaking wet. Like I like product right on soaking wet hair. And I know a lot of people are really different. They don't like, some people are like, oh, it gets on my body. I don't want it there. But I love um, soaking, hair, uh, soaking wet hair. And what I really actually, what I like too is the conditioner um, does make good curl clumps. Mm -hmm. So it's like the conditioner has these good curl clumps. I just put the product in right on top of those. So I, I do like that. Um, but let's get started. So I normally do this in four parts. Oh, now I understand why this mirror is here. <laughs> so normally um, I section into four parts. And so I usually go like right at my temples. And I do this. Is this similar like to you? Section? Yeah, so I, I section it like that up and I'll do, um, so I'll section mine up, flip it up, and then I'll do like the back parts in twos, and yeah. then I think I do like three on top. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I'm. I need. I need to part mine differently to cover the grays, depending on. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely have like a gray pad. That's know? the best thing about being blonde, though. You get away much longer with yes, gray. Right? So that is probably the main reason why I am blonde. Is because I, I got a lot of grays. <laughs> uh, do I have to pump either? Yeah. yeah I so I feel like I'm drenched you. I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. Go ahead, I'll, I'll duck. Okay, here we go. Oh, I like this. <laughs> Do you need a, like a brush or, you don't brush your hair, right? No, actually that's a really good point. Yeah. So I don't, I don't really break through. Right. Um, just because, I, I mean, I don't, my hair is a wavy. Like I yeah. truly am a wavy, so um, I don't like to add any additional like breaking of any potential curl that is there. Um, and that's really important, guys, because again, it's, you know, people will watch videos of me doing my hair and they're like, how do you break the product in? Doesn't it break your curls? Or I even brush it in. So everybody's hair is different. So if you've watched my videos or the millions of others we have on our YouTube channel right now, you really just need to trial and error. So I'm really interested to watch and learn this. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? It took a long time coming to yeah. figure out like, what works what for works. my hair. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. take my ring off. Hello, Hems, if you're watching. <laughs> Um, so um, we have a question. Is Lisa's hair layered or all one length? It is layered. Her hair is layered. Yeah, it is layered. The layers do help. For those of yeah. you who are looking for more curl formation and volume, you really need like a, a good haircut makes the biggest, biggest difference. So, all right, go ahead. So I, uh, the questions that I always get, because like people are like, oh, are you going to tell us like what you use? Some people will message me with like big hair and they'll say, um, 
I use two pumps and my hair is frizzy and I'm like, what, two pumps? Like my yeah. hair will drink that for breakfast. So, yeah. um, I mean the pumps are not big, so it's not like huge, huge pumps, but I usually do about five. So you guys can see that. Would, would that be? And it, well, it, it's insane because it's not an exact science. And no. I think we get that a lot where people are like, how many pumps? And you just have to trial and error it. Like I use about two pumps per section. But my hair is probably not as porous or more yeah. porous, and you have to really learn what your hair is, isn't, how it reacts to products. And my hair is usually like soaking wet, and I brush and wake it through. Yeah. So you see what she's doing there? Prayer hands. So or roping or shingling. Like I've heard so many different different things for this. Yeah. So um, yeah. So I I come in or I do this, and this is like from Power Domi. She she comes in and does this. What is that called? Roping is what she calls it, but what do you? I don't know. Maybe somebody will tell you if they've heard it differently. Let me see. Um, da, 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 when you put it in a shower. Okay, I'm gonna go through. Um, we do have our uh, our support team on to answer your questions. So if I'm missing them, just hang tight. Someone's gonna go through and get to all your questions. But that's the other thing too. In the curly community, there's all these methods and all these different names and people are like, oh, you're not doing it right, and blah, blah, blah. Guys, there's no such thing as right or wrong. Like, if it works for your hair, it yeah. works for your hair. And so she's calling this the roping where she goes through and squeezes the product into her hair. Mm -hmm. And then you can see what she's doing is she's just twisting it around her finger. And I always get questions like, what direction? What, like, like well, this is, again, not a science. Like, I just, yeah. I always go to the right. And I use my right hand. But the reason why I'm doing this, and I could scrunch it in. I totally could scrunch it in. It's just like I kind of am enjoying the, um, like, a polished, like, a little bit more of, like, a the definition piece. Yeah. Because I can get a, a, a really sweet, yeah, this would be more like the. So what she's doing right now is going to give her more results like this. So when she's going through and she's finger coiling, like, you, I don't know if you could see, but. Yeah. You know, she's got her sections, and she's not breaking it up. She's not breaking it in, and it almost looks like she's roped pieces together, but she's just fingering it. And after she dries, she gets results like that. Whereas, so what did you do? What was your method on on this day? It was a like we raked it in, yeah, and then we scrunched it. Okay. So that's like the major difference. But you can see the see the difference, like raking and scrunching, and going section by section and finger twirling. Same product, different results. Yeah. Okay, so you keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna go through and see if there's any questions I can pick out. Interesting to see your twisting. I haven't tried that. That's from Becky, yeah, Becky. Um, twisting's interesting. Um, just a note on that, yeah. it's okay. Like, yeah, just yeah, a yeah, note on that, the first time I did twist it, yeah. I had zero volume. And I was like, oh God, why did anybody ever decide to do this? Yeah. But as like, I continued and I, I tried different diffusing techniques, that's when it started to work. So my my biggest piece of advice there would be don't don't give up after one try. Like mm -hmm. it's not like this doesn't work. It's just what what will work for you. So and someone said, how do you know if you've used too much or too little? I used two pumps on my entire head. Honestly, there's no telling until you style it, and that's why sometimes people give this a try on their first attempt, and they say they either love it or they don't love it. Like you can, you don't know after one attempt. So just be patient. You know, maybe the first time you use two per section, next time you use four per section and compare the difference. Or if you really want to see, like split your hair down the middle and try one bit on one side and try another one on the other side because then it's an immediate. Like I have done, um, I think I, I don't know if I went live or if it was recorded, but I did half my hair using the curly and like a quick rake method and I did the other half of my hair using the kinky coily and finger coil and it's night and day and you could see it immediately. So. It really just does come down to trial and error, and you being patient and either giving it a few wash and goes or splitting your hair and trying different things to see what works for your hair. Mm -hmm. Does it calm the kinky part? Um, my sauteed hair is all the same <laughs> length. <laughs> Jeannie, what? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Okay, so on that note, I have a section in the back of my hair that is like a completely different texture than the rest of oh, my yeah, hair. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and I, yeah, I think, we that, can I think all pretty, relate. Yeah. yeah, I think that's pretty common, but. Um, when I do put it in, in that section, yep. like it does, it does calm it. If that's what she's mean, I, if that's what she means, like, I don't know. Do you have the same, do you find the same? Oh yeah. The back of my head is, uh, definitely different than everything on the front. But sometimes I think it's because we, you know, we can't see the back. We're not as yeah. patient 
applying it. Yeah, so I think true. you've given so much more love to yeah. this part of our hair. <laughs> and the back of your head kind of gets uh, neglected sometimes. Yeah. Okay, I, let's see. Oh, I'm having a hard time opening these comments on my phone. I might just have to. Does it weather and humidity affect your results? So that's a good question. We get a lot of questions from people about humidity. I have personally used these products in the Caribbean, in Florida, in Texas, and I took them to Brazil with me. I've been in high humid environments and they work great for me. Of course, you're gonna get, like I get more volume when I'm in yeah. humidity, but depending on how you take your time and apply it, we have tons of people. Um, I think the bulk of our customers are actually in uh, Florida and Texas. So high humidity and they use the product on its own and it's fine. Someone asked, what's your shower technique? Do you comb in the shower? Um, I finger like comb. I don't, okay. there are no combs. So you don't use a comb? No. Like uh, today, That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, today actually, because I was on my way here, because yeah. I, I had just clean, dry hair, I was like, should I try to comb this? Because I can't tell you the last time I comb my hair, it doesn't exist. So, um, but That's yeah, I, I usually put in conditioner. Uh -huh. And then I flip over my head and I finger like detangle. It's not even yeah. like a comb. It's just like You're just detangling it yeah. loosely. Yeah, very loosely. And then with those separations, yeah. I will take the product and put it in. So you apply your product in the shower yeah. usually. Yeah. Okay. And I don't. Again, for my hair type, I found that when I apply the product in the shower, I don't know if it's the steam um, from the shower, my hair turns out more frizzy. So I always apply my product actually in like a different bathroom if possible and like a steam free yeah. bathroom. I will wrap my head in that microfiber towel, in that cotton towel I mean, and I will go to a different bathroom yeah. or I'll wait five minutes for the steam to completely evaporate from the shower. And that's funny because I don't use any towels. Huh. So I do it in the shower and then I have like a shower cap yeah. and I put my hair in the shower cap and I guess it's called like a wet cloth. Yep. Yeah. And I, I I put my shower cap on and then I proceed to like wash my body, like shave my legs. Yeah, like yeah. my product's already in it. Yeah. And then, um, That's so interesting. I know it's like, it's, it's like night and day, but, and then I like get out of the shower and I usually have like between 15 minutes that I can like lotion up, do whatever I need to do. And then start like, yeah. I just pull it out of the shower cap. The product's already in it and I can start to right away. So it's like very, very different. I know a lot of people like air dry for a little bit or whatever, but I see, like I hear that and it makes me want to try it. Yeah. <laughs> I've never tried that, right? Yeah. So as a curly girl, it doesn't matter what works for you. Mm -hmm. You have to be willing to try different things. And I might try it and it might not work. Yeah. Um, but I won't know until I try it. So I think it's, we live in a great time where we have all these curl groups and all these brands like ours. And it's, it's just really like uh, real curly girls who are answering your questions. And that's why even when you message us, depending on who's answering your questions and what's worked for them, they're going to share um, their tips and tricks with you. And, you know, you got to try it. Uh, yeah. All right. So she's just sectioning section by section right now. You can see she's just roped her hair and finger twirled it section by section. Yeah. Yep. That's it. So at the top, so my, and like what we were talking about, like, you know, what you do versus what I do. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm all about simplicity. People sometimes see the finger curling and they're like, this is so challenging. Like I would never spend that amount of time. Like I got this down to a science, like in the shower, I can pump it out in like 10 minutes. Um, but I am all about like ease, like yeah. as fast as possible. So I do section in four parts and I section the back and then I do the front because like you said, we give so much more love yeah. to the front, right? For sure. <laughs> the front is what I see. Honestly, yeah. the back of my head might be really frizzy right now, yeah. but the front is, uh, the front is looking nice. That's <laughs> nice. So yeah, you got to give more time to like this part of your head because it's naturally going to be more frizzy yeah. and you can't see it. So unless you're parting it in the middle and really spending time on that part of your head, take your time. And yeah, sometimes even when I go live, because we're going slow, people are like, oh, that takes too long to finger coil your hair. And but I can finger coil my, like, I have a lot of hair, and I can do it in under 10 minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't take long. And it was so funny, because I did do, like, a, a video where I finger curled, and, yeah. and I was trying to be, like, exactly what you said. Like, I was trying to, like, show people. And then they think so that's how you always do it, right? Yeah, and I was like, what's time for that? Somebody asked, are you grabbing random sections to twirl or are you grabbing curls individually? You're just yeah. random, right? No, I like I, I it, it depends. Like if it will clump together, I will take clump. Like yeah. I will I will take it. But for the purpose of this, I have been taking like bigger chunks. Yeah. Um what I'll do at the end of it, like when I'm diffusing, see if you can see this big piece here. Yeah. Like this will turn into two curls. She's like, poor girl's getting soaked away. <laughs> it's like a wet t-shirt. <laughs> Because we decided not on white, but that's 
okay. If you are one of our customers and you live in Toronto, it's very likely we're going to ask you to come in and do this. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> if you reach out to us and you're like, hey, I'm in Toronto, I want to be part of your live. Yeah. Do that because everybody has different hair, right? Yeah, like, for sure. For sure. Okay. Um, is this kid safe? Absolutely. Our um, our shampoo shampoo is a word that in the curl community is like fear. Like, oh no, no shampoo. But guys, we could have used a different word to describe it. We could have called it a cleanse. We could have called it whatever we want. It's sulfate free. It's dermatologist tested. It's uh, hypoallergenic. Very safe. Um, my uh, brother actually uses it on his kid. Tons of my friends use it on their toddlers. Safe, not tear free. So obviously, be careful if you use adult shampoo on your kids. Don't get it in their eyes, but everything else, uh, yeah, absolutely kid safe. Um, is this something I can use on my son's hair? He is mixed and I'm having issues with frizz. Absolutely. Um, step it up to the Kinky Coily all-in-one if you want. Um, if he has frizz, I think the Kinky Coily is the best one for capturing frizz if he has like type 3 B hair and higher. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. She said she never uses heat on her hair. So that's interesting. So today she is going to diffuse for the sake of time. Because we're live, we're not gonna have you guys sit here for hours while her hair dries. So we are gonna be using a diffuser on her hair today, but normally you air dry on? No, 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 I do use oh, you a diffuser, I use it on like, just like the, the lowest setting. Okay. Yeah, like, so there's no, like, I don't add extra So when you say you don't use heat, you mean like, um, like hot like flat irons? Yeah, or okay. like a curling iron, because I get that all the time. Because your hair turns out, yeah. people think you use it, yeah. Well, see okay. how big this trunk is? This one I made. So like, I'm not, yep. like, I'm, I made this trunk and I'm just gonna. Like, I'm going to do this, and then it's going to probably break into two or three. Yeah. So. And, guys, it's really hard to do this live, like, sitting down when you're used to doing it in the shower. Yeah. So, you know, be patient. Um, is your hair just damn not dripping wet? Oh, no, no, no it's dripping. dripping. <laughs> dripping wet. Like, yeah. I have to throw a towel down on her leg because she her hair is dripping wet. Yeah, we've got wet jeans. Yeah. So. Now, for some people, I found that for some of our um, 2A, 2B customers, I read your comments that your hair, that the products actually work better on your hair when it's not dripping wet. Yeah. So for some of you, I have heard feedback that it actually works better if your hair is just damp. That's awesome. Like, there again, there's no exact yes or no or wrong or right with these products. So definitely trial and error. If it works better on your hair damp, do that. Um, okay, I thought she was saying never comb. Uh, yeah, she doesn't comb, she finger combs it. Yeah, like I just run my hands through it yeah. to detangle, like I just don't take a, a brush to it, but I'm not saying like don't do not do that to anybody. I mean, if you need to get a yeah. brush through your hair, do it. All right, so she says, how do you get tangles and knots out if you don't brush? I end up with a rat's nest. Oh. Rat's nest, that's Christina. Sorry guys, I might be a little behind on your comments here, but um, I will go back and again, our girls are online and they will get to everyone's questions. So yeah, do you find that if you don't ever comb or brush, you get a lot of tangles? No, because in the in the shower, yeah, like I am, it's like I, I just don't actually physically use a brush, but I use tangle. Yeah, yeah. And that's enough for your hair. Yeah, right? and and like I think in night, like the nighttime yeah. hair has yeah. a big piece to do with that yeah. too, right? Like if you're like a wild sleeper or something along <laughs> those lines, then you might have an issue. But I yeah. I can't really say that I am a wild sleeper. I kind of just like sleep on my back and I or my side. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's just, talk about that because I know the question is going to come up. People are yeah. going to say, how do you sleep with your curls? Yeah. That? So let's dive into that. I haven't read the comment yet. Maybe it's there, but I know it's going to come up. So how do you sleep with your curls tonight? So I buy pineapple and I use like um, either this guy, like the, the coily thing. But I, what I'm loving is um, it's kind of like a puff cup slash like banana flip. Like you know those old yeah, school yeah. banana flips? Okay. The ones that you just like, I think I have it in my purse, but um, I just, I put it like, I take all of my hair up mm -hmm. into a super, super high ponytail, like kind of like a unicorn. Mm -hmm. And I put it at the top and I, um, I, I just sleep on a silk pillowcase. Yeah. Um, so I just, I mean, a lot of people will put the scarf on top to protect yeah. the, the back because I'm not moving. Yeah. Like, I, it's just me. I'm sorry. I'm so, touching you. No, no, you're not. <laughs> I just want to show them because I hear this a lot. People are like, what, what is a um, pineapple? We use these words a lot. Yeah. You literally have to turn your hair upside down, get all of your hair as high as possible, and put a loose scrunchie, you don't want lines, but it's gonna be like at the top of your head. So if you have long hair in particular, it's not moving around and you would just rest this on your pillowcase. And if you can sleep light, that's usually enough. Now for me, I um, I take like a satin or silk scarf. Yeah. I do the same thing, I throw my head upside down, I just like pull a scarf around it. Yeah. 
And normally I'm so lazy, I don't do anything. I'll just sleep on it and you know, my hair my hair starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger as the days go by. I can get to like five days with my hair tie. And I don't mind. Like that's the thing. I think a lot of people in our community are so sensitive to frizz. Like, what has frizz ever done to anyone? I know. What? Why are we all so yeah. like, ah, frizz? You know what? I think that like I, somebody had started the hashtag like, uh, don't fear the frizz. Yeah. And I'm into it because like that's what curls are. Yeah. Like it's just Your like hair naturally is a little frizzy. It's okay. Yeah. So no, I'm into it. you can see like this is day one hair for me and it's like super defined and you know, very shiny and all that. But by day two, three, four, five, even if I don't refresh, it's gonna get bigger and frizzier. It's okay. Like it's. I kind of love that. Like I do too. Natural rock out. Like I, I like that. Big you know what hair. I, lo I love being like if I'm ever um, in salt water, like on a beach, yes. and your hair is just like big and frizzy, but it just looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love that personally. But. Me too. I, I do. Actually, you know what? I came here with nothing in my hair, and I was like, hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this can't go well. I can put in like a, a, what's it called? Like a, a headband. Just Ellen asked, do you ever switch between the curly, wavy product, or do you just use wavy? Um, I've only used the wavy so far. Um, but, yeah, I, I think, what did you guys say the difference was? So, like, is it just a thicker product? Um, so, yeah, the curly formula is definitely a slightly heavier than the wavy, okay. and it's going to give you more definition. Like, again, it's the same thing going from the curly to the kinky coily. The curly is like a lotion. The wavy is a lighter lotion, and then the kinky coily is like a cream. It's pretty thick. Uh, okay. So, it, I mean, if you want more volume, uh, and you're still going to get pretty good definition, right? Like, this is the wavy. Um, she's still got great definition, but more volume and more softness. Yeah. Um, and then if people want more definition and tamer, they can step up to the curly. And then if you're curly, you step up to the kinky coily. Does it matter like the porosity? Uh, no, not we go by hair type for that. Okay. But again, trial and error. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. So I've fallen really behind on comments. Like, I think there's like a thousand comments now. So sorry guys. Let me quickly go through. Let's ask the team. Have I missed any critical comments, questions? They want to know how many pumps you're using per section. Oh, um, so five. Okay, how are you breaking up the sections and like for each little twist? I think that they're a little bit confused. Okay, no problem. So um, maybe I'll just get closer. So um, I did four sections. Look at these hands. <laughs> <laughs> so I did four sections. It's okay because I'm going to use this product back in here. But um, I did four sections and I never, like I just did uh, five pumps. And then these curls, like I'm just doing it, like I'm not adding any additional product. Like I'm just... Know, twisting, just twisting with and the product that's already in it. And while she's scrunching, she's using her hands to get the excess like moisture and water out when it's dripping onto a towel here. And it's crazy because I hear, you know, like I have a lot of hair, and like I said, I use two pumps per section, and I do about five or six sections. So I'm definitely using less product than Lisa, even though I have thicker, curlier hair. But it, but that works for my hair, right? So you have to try and see what works for your hair. So. Yeah. Do you hear the squish? I, I love the squish. That's how I know I have enough, like, a good product to water ratio is when I hear, like, the squish. I love it. Um, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Did that how answer? Pumps? Yeah, we get a lot of how many pumps here. Why is there only an activator in the Kinky Coily? No, there is. There is an activator in all three formulas. Um, same, mine to New Orleans. Does she have to clarify, and if so, how often? Um, I clarify usually once every two weeks, but I'm like, I love clarifying. Like, I do enjoy doing it. And how do you clarify? For people that don't know what clarifying yeah. is, do you do like the apple cider? Yeah, I do an apple cider, apple cider vinegar rinse. I mean, my hair is color treated, so I try to like stretch that out as much as possible. Um, mm -hmm. I do like your shampoo for uh, yep. a clarifier. I do it's a true cleanse. Like, yeah. it actually has, yeah. you know, ingredients in it that pull uh, dirt and grime yeah. oil away. Yeah. And people don't know this, our shampoo is one of our most expensive to manufacture because we've had to layer in moringa oil and shea butter and other moisturizing ingredients to a product that has um, like a cleansing agent. So if you can imagine, the cleansing agent's job is to pull the dirt and grime and oil out of your scalp and hair, and then we have to layer in moisturizing ingredients yeah. so that it doesn't strip your hair dry. And this is, uh, our chemists have worked um, a genius formula with this one. Yeah, yeah. I do like it. Um, yeah, and it does feel clean. And I do get a lot of volume afterwards. Awesome. I'm done the style. Shall I start? Like, how do you want to do this? Yeah. So she's done. Let's um. Let me see if I can get you. Yeah. So do you guys see 
Any questions on what her hair looks like? And she's done. And the key right now is she's done styling. She's done applying the product. You don't want to manipulate your hair too much after this. So she's going to, she's already scrunched it as she's gone through. And now she's going to leave it alone yeah, until it dries because people don't realize this is actually the part where your hair can frizz up. So it's usually not when you're applying it. It's after you've applied the product. If you're manipulating your curls too much, that's when frizz happens. So once you've applied it, leave your hair alone and try to dry it as gentle as possible yeah. until it's fully dry. So um, she's going to be using, uh, da, 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 da. don't ask if this is out yet. It is not out yet. But these, um, the new less blow dryer diffuser uh, with negative ion technology is being manufactured. It, uh, we're probably still a few months away from this, but we're going to let Lisa um, use it to dry her hair today. So we're probably, yeah, like a few months away. Make sure you're on our email list and we'll definitely let you guys know when these come to market. But here you go. I'm going to get out of your way. Oh, okay. But I will be here to answer questions. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so um, do you want me just to describe like kind of how I do this? Yeah. Or what do you, okay. So yeah, that's great. in general, like if you guys look at my hair right now and you've seen me before, you know that I have like the big, big hair. What I like to do is I try to get into the roots. This guy's going to be annoying, but the, um, I like to get into the roots and dry uh, my roots first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I usually do it upside down. So I'm just, I'm just going to make myself really comfortable. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, but I'm going to dry it like this. So for anybody, actually, I think I can do this. There we go. All right. So what I like to do is I like to dry the roots because it will give me the most uh, volume. How do I, do it? Do you need to stand up? I can tilt this up. Is it easier? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's up to you guys. I mean, no, whatever's easier. We want you to be comfortable. There we go. Are there questions? Oh, about the dryer, yeah. <laughs> no, there are other questions. Hold on. All right. Um, it, so Chen asked if she's bought five pumps of all-in-one for all the sections or for each section. So Lisa used five pumps per section. She did it in four sections. Um, do you use hot air? You use medium, right? Yeah, right now there's no heat, but should, should I maybe? It's up to you. Whatever you, whatever you do. Um, so... Normally, I use medium heat on my hair, medium or high, depending on if I'm in a rush. She normally uses like no heat, the cool setting. Yeah. Which obviously it takes longer for your hair to dry, but um, you know, if you have patience, you have time, then the cool setting is always the better way to go. Um, there's a lot of questions on the dryer, guys. We are way too early in the manufacturing process, so um, I'll be happy to hop on when we're a little bit closer to talk about price points and the technology and why this is different than anything else in the market and why we're creating it. But uh, it's way, way, way too early for me to get into details. So just please stay tuned. Make sure you're on our email list. We try not to spam our community. Um, but yes, yeah, stay on the email list. Okay. Um, So after, the question is, after you sleep with your hair in a pineapple, what do you do in the morning? Oh, um, so I take it out of the pineapple, and I usually get pretty good volume because uh -huh. of it. And then what I'll do is I'll mix my hands with water, and um, I'll do one or two pumps of these, and then I'll prayer hands for the rebrush. So to do, do you know what I mean? Yep. Okay. yep. So what she does... Thank you. Thank you. So she does, like, one pump of product, and she has water in her hands, or she'll just go like this, and she'll exactly. like smooth the sections out. And that's it. Yeah. Um, depending how bad, the, like how not bad, how bad, but like how what day it is, like yeah. day four, and like it's gotta be a full refresh. Mm -hmm. Um, I will use more water, and I'll come back and diffuse. Yep. But if if it's day two, day three, day four, like or day two, day three, generally I don't have to re, re diffuse. Let's see. Other questions. Um. Super high loose ponytail, yes. Do you do you part your hair before you dry? I don't think you part your hair. You just kind of throw your hair upside down and start drying, right? Uh, before I when I was styling, yeah, I did style. Part. Like yeah. I will throw these pieces. Like I, you can see, like there's like kind of a natural part here. I put them to the side, like I'll finger put it to the side. But as I'm drying, I usually I usually focus on like the front pieces first, and then. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and someone asked, do you normally diffuse or air dry? No, I diffuse. So always. she always diffuses. Always. <laughs> I always diffuse too, because it'll take forever for my hair to dry. Yes. 
And I find when you diffuse, it actually like locks your curls in yes. and it helps them last longer. Yeah. Um, now we have some people in our community that love air drying. They say diffusing makes their hair frizzy. I haven't found that online. You no. Know, you if like anything, amazing. like if I didn't diffuse, my hair would be like a traditional triangle, like that wavy girl. Yeah. Everybody grew up when you go to like the hairdresser and you say, please don't make me look like a triangle. Yeah. I would look like a triangle. <laughs> So yes, I have to do these. So again, we have a lot of questions on refresh. We have a whole section on our website under U plus lust. So lustbrands.com, the link is um, in the caption of this video. And there's a section if you go into U plus lust and there's real how-to videos and we have a whole refresh section because refreshing on Lisa's hair type and my hair type and kinky coily hair type is different. So make sure you head there and check out our refresh videos because those are pretty interesting. Does she diffuse until her hair is completely dry? Yeah. Yep, me too. I diffuse until my hair is completely dry. For us short hair ladies, what's the best way to sleep with our curly hair? Ooh, I can't do a pineapple. Yeah, a bonnet. Um, I've seen people use silk bonnets, which is just a cap, and you can put it on, put your hair upside down, put on a silk cap. That works great. For some people, we've heard that if you just use a silk or satin pillowcase, that makes a huge difference. Yeah. Cotton pillowcases tend to soak moisture out of your curls when you sleep at night. So sometimes if you just switch your pillowcase, that can make a big difference. Um, what else? Hair too short for pineapple, same thing. So re-wet and redo every day. You shouldn't need to re-wet your hair completely on a refresh day. Um, so some people, what they do is they take their spray bottle, they'll put in a few pumps of product, they'll fill it with water, they'll spray it up, and they will just spray that mixture formula into their hair. For a lot of people, just doing what Lisa said, which is uh, in sections, just put like one or two pumps, add some water to your hands, and just smooth over the sections that are um, damaged or crazy. And that's kind of what I do when I refresh. I'll just part it in the middle. It's like the laziest curly girl refresh method. I'll part it in the middle, and I'll just go through, and I'll just rake uh, a little bit of product and water back into like the top of my hair that's more frizzy, and that's it. And I find the curls just do get revived. Um, how often do you wash your hair? People are asking. Like once every four or five days. Once every four or five days. And she refreshes like that in the middle. Yeah. That's it. Um, I go about once every five or six days, but again, because I don't, I don't really take a lot of care to maintain the curl in between. Um, by day like four or five, it's pretty frizzy, but I don't care. I love it. You just gotta learn to love your hair in all of its glory. So, I pretty much use the Harris Lady Girl. Yep. Hey, Whitney. You know, it's crazy. It's like we've been with her out for two years now. This is our third year, and I'm recognizing a lot of your names. So, thank you guys so much for your loyalty. You guys have been following this brand and watching it get made from the ground up, and um, yeah, we love you. How do you do the pineapple on your head at night for sleeping? So we went over that. You just loosely tie your hair. You bring it all up to the top of your head, and you loosely tie it on top, and you let your, you know, the top of it just fall back. Um, what kind of shower cap do you use in the shower? Um, it's like an Amazon. Like it's just like a plastic, but it's like more like a bonnet. Like there's a lot of room in there. Okay. Um, but they have it in different sizes too, like a, a small, medium, and large. Are you using warm or low? You said right now you're using warm. warm. Yeah. Warm. Uh, love, 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 love the products. Thanks, Tracy. We love you guys. Bye. I just switched. Love how soft my hair has been. Thank you, Arlene. Tips for defining our natural pattern. Is finger curl the only way, or is there a faster, lazier way? Yeah. Okay, so this, again, she mentioned that, you know, she's taking her time doing it because she's, on video right now, but normally she can get this down in under 10 minutes and apply some products in the shower. So for us, I think the finger coiling is uh, the quicker, lazier way. Well, I don't know, like, see, like this, yeah, like this photo. Like, it just depends on the look that I want. Like, my hair is still curly, like, I'm all curly. So it's in this photo here, she didn't finger curl each section, she just like used plain hands and, and then I stretched it. Yeah, so in this one here, she just went through no finger coiling, she sectioned it. Put the product, praying hands method, and sponge it. So that's the faster, easier way. Um, your product has made me love my curly hair. Hey, Renee, that's great to hear. I use Wavy and has made a huge difference. You are welcome. Thank you for the feedback. 
Aw, that's so sweet. You guys are so sweet. Thank you guys so much. I can stop yelling now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right. I'm just uh, just trying to see like what like did you ever do a check? Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I was just doing it's a check time. Yeah. So this like you can already see. But, okay. Can I? Yeah. I really like the driver. <laughs> <laughs> because my but my hair's growing fast. That's why. Yeah. Like that's why I'm like really surprised. So you can already yeah. see like if you start on the roots, like see how I'm starting to get some volume. Like my hair is Woo! still like sixty percent. Like it's still yeah. still some ways to go, but I'm starting to get the. I'm starting. To get oh some yeah, volume I can see it. Okay. So I'm just gonna continue. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to yelling. Can you guys hear me? By the way. Yeah, everyone can hear me. When she does the praying hands and scrunch, is that still the sh in the shower, then with a showering cap? So if you just do the praying hands and scrunch method, yeah. you're still doing it in the in shower. The yeah. yeah. So she still does it in the shower under the shower cap. Um, what to do after a workout? Um, yeah, so what do you do? Yeah, I work out the same way I sleep. Like I, I still put it like super super high loose ponytail. Yep. Um, and I and I'll do a refresh. Like I'll shower cap it. I'll shower and then I'll just do a, a refresh if it needs it. Sometimes yeah. it doesn't even need it. But yeah. if you're doing like a hardcore sweat, yeah. Like, my my question to that all the time is, what do you do if you had straightened hair and you had the, the same type of workout? Yeah. Like, sure. would, would you rewash it? Yes. Yeah. And, and that's the case. Yeah. Then you, cause, I mean, like it just depends what what works for you guys, but. Um, yeah, sometimes I'll just refresh it afterwards. Like, yep. If I'm not drenched. Same with me. I normally just put my hair in like a really high ponytail, loose, and I'll use a refresh method. Like I will take our products. Listen guys, the scent of our products was personally picked up by me. I love the scent like of this it. product. I used to wear it as perfume. Scent is a very, very personal thing. So if you don't like the scent of our products, we're not offended. It's just, this is the scent we selected for the line, and it's a phthalate great essential oil, so it's, um, it's a beautiful light scent. So sometimes what I do is I will take like a product, and I'll mix it with water, and I'll just literally massage it into my roots after a workout, just to like give it a little bit of a, like a refresh uh, scent. Um, but normally after a workout, same thing, like the same refresh method you see on our, on our, thank you Tiffany, Tiffany loves the scent. How do you finger coil away? Do you finger coil away from your face or towards it? I think I finger coil towards my face. Yes. Towards. But you love the scent, love the scent. I have a surprise for you guys. Uh, we are coming out with, sorry, my team's looking at me. <laughs> for those of you who do love the scent, I have created a collector's edition hair perfume. <laughs> That's alcohol free, phallic free, and we're coming up with it soon, so stay tuned. Yeah. Uh, round two, tech issues. We don't know what happened, but our, we fell off our Wi Fi network. We couldn't switch over to data. So we're going to give it some time because I think we had like hundreds of people on the live. And uh, yeah, we're going to wait and just let some people uh, join back on. We're live, right? Yep, yep, yep. So much better. So sorry, Heather. We have a dedicated line and everything, and uh, unfortunately, you know, these things happen. So we're just going to wait. People are slowly starting to hop back on. Can we comment on the other video that we've restarted the video again? So we got the team here. We're going to try to get everyone to come on over to this live and restart. Sorry, guys. Let me see what questions I missed. Yay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Love you guys. You guys hang with us and everything. <laughs> Yay, we're back. Yes, Angela. Woo. Lives are stressful. Okay. And it's funny because you know what's crazy? We never worry about how our hair is going to turn out when we go live. We're always worried about technology. Something going wrong with tech. So, yep. All right. So, yeah, it happens. Thank you. Thank you guys for having our back. What kind of diffuser is that? This is the new Lust Dryer diffuser. It is not released yet. We are very early in the production stage of this new product, so make sure you're on our email list. Um, I let the community know as soon as we have more information, we will let you guys know. So Lisa, we've, uh, we've got about 147 people. I think there was over 400 joining us live, so we are gonna give it a sec just for uh, the community to hop back on. But why don't you tell them what, whoa! <laughs> Hello, volume. <laughs> Whoa. I, uh, I, I, I like what's happening here. <laughs> I like what's happening there too. Whoa, okay. So why don't you 
tell them what uh, what you've been doing. Your diffuse method. Yeah. Um, I think I just went a little bit too crazy. Only a curly girl can touch another curly girl's hair. <laughs> <laughs> so but it's, soft. It's soft. It is soft, and it's still a little bit damp. Like especially, I I don't know if you guys always also get this, but like mm-hmm. leave this back. This is dry. Oh, but, I know. Um, so I'm, I was going to say I'm about like 95% dry right now. Yeah. Um, and I guess the diffusing method that I've been doing is, um, like you mentioned before, yeah. I'm not sure if people heard it, that like when I'm going, I'm not going crazy with the dryer. What I like to do is I like to hold it and just to make sure that, you know, it's dry. It's And I do pixie diffuse like you were saying as well. Like So t- typically what I do is I'll turn, I'll, I'll do this. Yeah. And then I'll turn on the, the hair dryer so I, I have better control. Someone said, I want to go wash my hair right now so I can try out a new technique. <laughs> I know, right? That's the exciting part about being a curly girl. It's you see someone else's technique and you want to try it. So, yeah. That, girl, that volume. I know. It's, it, it got pretty big. I, I love And I'm all of it. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just need to go as big as I could possibly get it. And yeah. If you guys can see, there is a little bit, like, especially on this side, like, these are, like, kind of corkscrew curls. If you want even to create a little bit more, you can start to pull these apart. But, again, my hair is not 100% dry, so I wouldn't I wouldn't start doing that. Yeah. But I have, especially on the underneath ones, like, I'll start, because I made some pretty big finger curls. But you can, once it's 100% dry, you can start pulling them apart, and it will give you um, more, like, fuller-looking hair. Yeah. So. And that's the thing. Sometimes people want, like ultra defined curls yeah. and volume volume means you gotta accept a little bit of frizz like that's what's giving you your volume and for those of you who've seen my other videos like my hair is pretty tame today i don't have a lot of volume um once my hair is 100 percent dry i can go through and i can break down like you can see i've um like finger coiled my hair as well today and i can go through and like open them up yeah and actually go through and like shake out your yes. roots yeah. And you will start to get more volume if you just like get your hand in, in your roots and just shake out your, your roots a little bit. You'll start to get more volume. But again, with volume comes a bit of frizz, so you have to be okay with frizz. Yeah. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take like a wide tooth comb and like I know I've been saying like I don't comb at all throughout this whole thing. But I will pick it at the root as well just for an additional a little bit of extra That's key. Um, and you're not like pulling your hair through. No. You're just at the roots. Like you're putting it in and turning the comb. Yeah. That's it. Just like, like this and that's a flick it. Up. You see? And a flick up. That's it. Then, Just to get your roots shook up a little bit. Someone said, so happy to know about the pineapple pineapple and refresh. She was rewashing, rewashing every day. Oh. <laughs> so oh, yeah, yeah, you learn a lot. You don't have to rewash your hair every single day as a curly girl. Mm-hmm. Um, can you go into more detail about how you apply in the shower? Do you scrunch the water out before applying and then spray it down again? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'm in the shower. I This is like the whole thing. So I'm in the shower. Uh, usually I'm flipped over. I have my conditioner in. So I'll be like this. And I will actually put my conditioner in scrunching. And so that removes a lot of the water. And then the shower is here. And I will continue to wash out the conditioner with that water. And I'm scrunching, scrunching, scrunching. And then I'll flip it. And that's when I start to do my product application. I go right, like I turn off the shower, I go right into sectioning up my hair into the four pieces, and I start to put in the, the wavy. So I just start to use my hands, like crane hands or, or roping. I'm like amazed by your volume right now. She's talking and I'm like. <gasps> yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like, it definitely oh, came to play today. <laughs> yeah, someone said my hair is so fine when I use some products, I end up with beautiful curls, but lots of scalp showing. Uh-huh. Um, any tips for that? So that's a great question. Yeah. Um, what do you have for, you know, covering up um, thinning hair or even like scalp showing at the roots? Yeah, so I actually probably wouldn't recommend doing the finger curling then because it, what it right. does is it, it will take like the full, like you'll see each each um, section. Yeah. Um, so I probably wouldn't recommend finger curling That's for that one. Yeah. Um, I would probably do a little bit more of like a, a scrunching in. Um, and I would make sure to do something like how I just combed it out. Yeah. Like the pick. Yeah. Because it will break up any of those sections that have naturally created from where that curl. That yeah. Oh okay. Do you have to use a diffuser or can you 
use just a blow dryer. If you're, I've never used just a blow dryer. I've always, always, always diffused my hair. Some people air dry. Yeah. Do you do you just use a blow dryer? No. Um. When before I knew how to use a diffuser, I used to take the blow dryer and just do the roots, and then I would come in a little bit with the diffuser. But I travel a lot for work, and there has been or have been sometimes where. Um, I forgot my diffuser and I get there and I'm like, oh dear Jesus, and like this is my diffuser. Yeah. So I will even still cup and blow dry if that's if that's all I have. Yeah. Or I use um sometimes I'll use like a cotton t-shirt, like a hotel blow dryer if I ever forget my diffuser. I'll take like a cotton t-shirt and like put it in and try to like just control the curls from flying all over yeah. the place that's and just nice. blow air into it. Yeah. So but for me I have to diffuse. Someone said you have gorgeous hair. Doesn't she though? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, like softness, yeah. um, defined. So you can see right here where she like finger coiled her hair. Oh, there we go, there we go. So once it's fully dried, I'm touching it right now, it's still it's kind of damp. Light. Yeah. So you don't want to start messing with your yeah. hair until it's 100% dry, but if she wants more definition, she can then go, go ahead and just break up um, where she finger coiled. But her hair is defined, it's soft, that's one product. Normally it would take her 10 minutes to put it on in the shower and like what, 10 minutes yeah. diffusing? 20 minutes. No. no. Maybe a little bit longer for the diffuser. Oh, my diffuser is fast. <laughs> See, this is the point. My hair dries so, so fast. Yeah. And that's why I need to, like, soak it. Yeah. Like, my hair will dry like this yeah. really, really fast. Whereas, like, your hair type probably yeah. retains water a little bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. Yeah. And as it's gotten, so the fun fact, as it's gotten healthier, it takes longer and longer and longer <laughs> to dry. So it's becoming uh, a little bit longer. But this was probably one of the fastest, like, 30 yeah. What were we like? Was it thirty minutes? Would you say uh, less than nine? Oh, yeah. Sure. Like yeah, yeah. This dryer uh, will speed up your dry time. Both of you ladies, I love your hair. Thank you, Christina. Do either of you blow dry your hair straight? Uh, I haven't since I launched this line. I don't think you could be the founder of a curl line and walk around with straight hair. Yeah. So no. <laughs> I used to. I used to straighten my hair all the time, and a lot of people can't tell. Like shrinkage is a big thing in our community, but my hair is actually yes. Here, can you show them? Yeah. So oh, my hair is really. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I know it's deceiving, right? So yeah. My, so if I straighten my hair, yeah. it's actually really, really, really long. So oh no, I don't straighten my hair. Yeah. I know it's up to here, but if uh, if I actually like straighten my hair, though, yeah, I actually like. Yeah, I don't have that. Like mine is like. <laughs> like that's that's the unit. Yeah. Well. Yeah, it's pretty long, but that's healthy hair. I don't know why a lot of people are like, oh, shrinkage, shrinkage. If your curls are healthy, they should be springing yeah. up, right? Yeah. So, and on days when I like deep condition, for those of you that have been going crazy over our new deep condition and repair, on the days that I do deep condition, and I deep condition now like once every two weeks, yeah. um, I find my curl definitely springs up more and it feels healthier. Um, but yeah, and if I want looser hair, I'll just style it differently. So instead of like finger coiling, I will personally scrunch it through or praying yeah. hand breath it scrunch and I'll get like looser curls, not so defined. Mm -hmm. um, my hair takes my hair takes about forty five minutes to dry and have very thin hair, um, but she can't get any volume. Um, so if you go back, I don't know if it's on this one or the other one. She did uh, share a lot of tips on how she diffuses to get volume. And like further to that too. So right now, like as you mentioned, my hair's not one hundred percent dry. So usually around seventy to eighty percent dry. You can root clip it. Yeah. So what you can do is I take. Sorry, this is it's it's hard because it's mixed, right? Like it's like a it's. Your right. hair, okay, your hair turned out amazing though. Yeah. <laughs> so do, do you want to help me have a date night? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm not of this. So <laughs> what I'll do is like I will take my hair and I'll take like one of those silver clips and I'll I'll push it back a little bit and I'll I'll clip it like this. For volume, that's For, great. Yeah, and then I'll let it like air dry the rest of the way like that. Yeah. If if I have to. Sometimes I'll if I'm in a rush, I'll go back in and Someone's asking if you can deep condition overnight. No, not with our product. You don't need to. Guys, I created this product because I personally hated deep conditioners. You got to put in your hair for 45 minutes, sit under a plastic cap and a dryer and blah, 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 and it's messy and like I hated deep conditioning. So I created a product that's supposed to speed up and cut down your deep conditioning time. This thing on my hair works in five to 10 minutes. If you have really, really damaged hair or dry hair, you can leave it on for a maximum of 30 minutes. It works in under 30 minutes. So please don't deep condition your hair overnight. You don't need to do it. I do um, like three minutes. Three. Like super, super quick. And that's, it's a heavier conditioner. Yeah. So it's, it's good. For that's me. enough for her hair. Yeah. yeah. Um, have we missed anything, ladies? I think we're done. We had a slight technical uh, issue. So if you're watching the second half, there's another video posted to our page. We will probably end up connecting the two of them and reposting it. 
um, and getting rid of that tech glitch. <laughs> but um, yeah, so she actually just went live today and showed from start to finish how she applies the wavy product to her hair and she diffuses and uh, answered a lot of questions that I've learned a lot from you about wavy hair. Yeah. <laughs> no idea, but your hair's turned out amazing. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, and it's funny, it doesn't matter how curly your hair is, you're always like amazed by someone else's yeah, yeah, yeah. different hair. So that's it. Thank you guys for joining us. If there are any questions, again, we're going to go through, and if we miss your questions, we'll go through and answer them. And you can always PM us, DM us, Lust Brands. This is Curly and Fab. Her handle is going to be in uh, the <laughs> caption here. So check it out. She gives a lot of pointers, especially to, to uh, women with type 2 hair. Yeah. So, you know, we're all kind of in this community to help each other, and uh, that's it. Um, you are so welcome. Love you guys. Have a good Sunday evening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Um.